I've come here to Norton Priory to take a glimpse of the rich history this place has to offer and to go back to what could possibly be the Abbey's darkest days. In 1535, the monastery faced a difficult time, with King Henry VIII calling for all monasteries to be destroyed. The Church of England had replaced the Catholic Church as Henry wanted to divorce Catherine of Aragon to marry Anne Boleyn. He no longer saw a need for all the abbeys in England. Sir William Breton, a close friend to the abbey and a very powerful man in the northwest, would not let the abbey fall without a fight. William found himself a difficult opponent, Sir Piers Dutton, the Sheriff of Cheshire, who wanted the lands of Norton Priory to build on for himself. The conflict began with the people in charge of valuing the monastery, otherwise known as the Dissolution Commissioners. They arrived at the Abbey unannounced and were met with an angry mob of 300 locals. For their own safety, the dissolution committees had to barricade themselves into this tower that once stood here. But with the protesters approaching, the commissioners were stuck. Luckily, they got a letter to Sir Piers Dutton, the sheriff, and he arrived at the abbey, scaring off the protesters and then arresting the canons and the abbot on suspicion of treason. The abbot claimed to have nothing to do with the protest, but as we know, Dutton wanted the abbey land for himself, so he told Henry VIII his version of events. Based on the report, King Henry demanded the abbot and his canons be executed for treason against the crown. But not all hope was lost for the Abbey, as Sir William Breton said that he could help save the lives of the Abbot and his canons. But with every minute passing, it became harder and harder to save the Abbey itself from King Henry. William was able to stall the execution of the Abbot by refusing to meet with Sir Piers Dutton. Without meeting with him, no execution could take place. However, William knew he could only stall for so long. With time running out, he now knew that saving the Abbey was no longer an option. All William could do now was hope that he could prevent the execution of the seemingly innocent Abbot and his four canons. Luck was on his side with Thomas Cromwell who questioned Dutton's reliability with his verdant events. From this he was able to free the abbot and his canons from their imprisonment. Despite being now free, the abbot needed a new home. In late 1536, the abbey was destroyed and all its items were confiscated by the king. The abbey was now lost. The skeleton of the grand structure was uninhabitable for nine years until it was transformed into a country home. itself will never return to its former glory, however artefacts like the statue behind me keep the memory of the abbey alive. <laughs>